in here. I haven't opened up with that intro in a long, long time. Capcom beat em up bundle. I was on the fence about buying this game for the longest time. It was 20 bucks when it came out. I believe 2025. I think 20. And it's got seven classics, and that's fine and dandy. Seven good beat em ups. Old school, like 16 bit brawlers from the arcade. The few that never came to the United States, at least on consoles. So I was all ecstatic about it, but I heard that the net code wasn't too good. We're gonna be playing offline today. I will play the online portion at some point in time, but right now, I don't want to run into anybody trolling or God knows what. Welcome to stream, by the way. Seven classics here. So the net code is what turned me off, but for $9.99, that's an impulse buy, so I got this. And we're gonna start with Final Fight. A classic. Now the SNES version of Final Fight was only single player. So, like, the 16-bit home ports of these weren't the greatest. Uh, graphics were slightly down-tuned a little bit. It was only single-player. You were missing Guy, although they came out with a version of that later on, but that's all those story. Pick up the phone! It's the 90s. We had phones back then. No, we didn't. I don't think. But we had those old style office phones. What's happened to Jessica? Who is this? This is mayor slash wrestler Mike Hagar. What the hell's going on over there? Nothing. Nothing yet. But we'd enjoy the opportunity. Listen to reason, man. Why make your job difficult? Just let us do as we please like the maid before us did. Somebody's always getting kidnapped in these beat em ups, like every single one. That's how the original Double Dragon started out. The mag use must pay. She's my friend too! She's my friend too! Count me in, dude. She's my. She's also my friend. Alright. And just for the hell of it, we're going with Guy. Because he's not in the Super Nintendo version. Thanks to the power of backwards compatibility, I have played this game on the um, Xbox One. Because it's on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. There should be no differences from that version. Good old old school sprites. Now if you like Streets of Rage, then you'll like Final Fight. Some people think Streets of Rage is a Final Fight clone, but I think Streets of Rage was actually first to come out. Not that it's important. It's important to know your game in history, folks. Using your special takes off some of your health. Music sounds good. There was a Sega CD version of this. Everything looks fine. Everything's running fine. Hopefully the net code has been patched. That was the main thing that turned me off from buying this. Because it's great to be playing people online, to playing with, you know, friends and things, but not if the net code is doo doo. You know, Streets of Rage has like a lot of the same characters, even. Like they look alike. These guys right here, and these guys over here. It's just weird. Yes, folks, you will find health in tires. Go search around your neighborhood. I'm not kidding you. There's turkeys inside the tires. Thanksgiving's coming up Thursday. Ah! Good thing about playing this at home and not in the arcade, you don't have to pop quarters in. He's gonna whistle for his buddies any second now. Coward. You coward. We're in the bad part of town. Of Metro City. My question is, if you're the mayor, how did you let the town get to this? To this state? How did you let the city crumble like this? It looks terrible. Where's the police? Here we go, he's whistling for more people. 
I don't even think she's in the Super Nintendo version. That or she's got a lot of lot more clothing on. I'm about to die. If you kill him, they all die. Really? <laughs> I shouldn't have counted. Lost a damn life. I'm so old I can remember taking the train in New York to Subway and listening to a CD player. Yep, that's how old I am. And those fantastic 8-tracks. Eight 8-track eight tapes, yep. I'm joking about the 8-track. I didn't even get on top of the trash can, but what's up, welcome to the stream. How's everybody doing? This was on sale for $9.99. I don't believe it's still on sale. I think it went back up. There's a whole bunch of games on sale though right now. Pre-Black Friday. This guy looks like Andre the Giant. Sort of similar names too. He was one of the most annoying characters from the fight. Again. I might not make it all the way through Final Fight because I'm going to show you the other games. What's going on Mark? How you doing? You seen the new Fish Stick skin? <laughs> Triggerfish. Don't forget, Mark, use my name in the Fortnite Creator Shop, the item shop, if you're gonna buy any skins. I hate that it expires in 14 days, you gotta keep re-upping. This is the bad part of town, look at all this graffiti. Broken windows. The subway in the 80s and, and I think part of the 90s, yeah, it had graffiti on it in New York, lots of graffiti. But the windows weren't broken like that. That lady right there, Poison, she's in Street, uh, she's in Street Fighter 5. And she's heavily censored in the SNES. As you know, it's Nintendo. I'm gonna make it to the boss of this and then I'm gonna swap games out. So maybe Captain Commando. Is that Pepsi? You can see a little speck of blood. It's fantastic, isn't it? Trigger fish. The best part about these games is just beating them up off screen. They can't really do any damage to you. Just cheese them in the corner. This is a pro tip for anybody that's never gotten to play these games. And is now just gonna start booting them up. Yeah, technically we're on a timer, but I don't know anybody whose time runs out. You'd have to be the worst player in the world to have your time run out in this game. I need some help. And I'm not gonna get it. Oh no! It looks like a young Keanu Reeves. I just got a trophy for that. I'm not done yet. For, for continuing. It's like a participation trophy. I'll take it though. How many knives does one need? The answer four. I'm glad they're just sitting there chilling by the subway tracks. Makes sense. A lot of sprites on the screen at the same time. No slowdown, good stuff. Yeah, that's another thing. I think the SNES version didn't have as many sprites on screen at the same time. I mean, it had a few, but it didn't have like six, seven like this. If I can remember correctly, but you know, a long time ago.
Yeah, this is the boss. This boss is a little annoying to me. I'm sure there's a strategy that I don't know that makes it easier to fight him, but every time he runs at me, like I fall for this every time. I guess you could do that. My timing's off. It takes forever though, you've been a jump kick. Jump kicks doesn't, don't do enough damage. Ah! I gotta get the swords away from him. He goes right back to pick him up. Internet world, if you're watching this video. How do you cheese this man? Looking like he came out of Ay Ayamusha. Alright, I'm not gonna continue. I'm just gonna let it run out. Not even worry about the name, because I'll beat those high scores. That ain't nothing. Game over. Something else. For well, the heck of it, we'll save. So I guess the high score is saved. They got different settings. They got so wallpaper nostalgic versus heroes, nothing. Filters. Size full or original. <laughs> All right, let's let's go to something else here. Let's see what else we got. Quit the game, yeah. Alright, I'm going to Captain Commando. Because I think that's one of the more fun ones. I remember bits and pieces of this game. I've played this game before in the arcade. Many, many moons ago. 1991. You could be a mummy, you could be Captain Commando, you could be a ninja, or you could be a baby. In a mech suit, yeah, it's a fantastic game. City Museum, the Ninja House. That sounds like fun. So we're going to Ninja's house. One of the things that I miss about my PlayStation 3 is I had so many games on there that you can't find anymore. The Simpsons arcade game was on my PS3. Um, when that was released, I bought X-Men, the arcade game from the 90s. Good stuff. Like, you can play six people online, and it's just, you can't play it on PS4, you can't play it on Xbox One. I, I would love to play the Ninja Turtles arcade machines. I know they got a, one at, like, Walmart and other stores. I'm not playing Walmart. How do you get in this thing? There we go. Welcome to stream, what's going on? This is Captain Commando. Can I not pick this up? I gotta make a choice between the two? Alright, we're going to the bank. I'd like to make a deposit. Jesus saves, I withdraw. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give the money. How do you do a special move on this? Oh, my head. That's why he looks so weird in this game. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Like, Final Fight looks like it could be realistic, you know, back in the day, 80s, 90s. And it could be a real city. This is just weird. We're going to the aquarium at some point. We're going to the circus. The circus camp. What the hell is going on in this game? Oh, the dinosaurs museum. Which reminds me, Cadillacs and dinosaurs. That was a hell of a game. Another old school fighter. A lot of these games have never been ported anywhere. You know, yeah, people can play them on via emulators, but you know, that's kind of... It's a gray area. And for me, it's just not the same. I want to port it to home consoles. I want to give the developers, you know, their fair share.
I haven't played this in years, so if I'm stuck and if I'm rusty, that's as well. And literally, this is like the, only the second time I booted this game up since I purchased it the other day on sale. It's a nice little cut cutscene. Right? I just had a golden axe flashback, which is another beat em up. Now I can still kick, you know what, in Golden Axe, because it's fresh in my head, fresh in my mind. I play Golden Axe 1, 2, and 3 all the time on the Xbox One, thanks to the power of backwards compatibility. Look at this guy, he looks like a young Danny DeVito. And this guy looks like the Macho Man. Young Randy Savage. Hey, didn't your mother tell you not to play with matches, lighters? You're not supposed to fire. Oh, it's Blanca. What the hell are you doing here? The wrong game, Blanca. Oh, I could have used that a second ago, but you know, whatever. He sort of got that gun from that the final boss of Final Fight has. Are they reusing assets? No, not Capcom. Never. Take a cross between Blanca and and the guy in the wheelchair at the end of the final fight. Did I spoil something? They don't make soundtracks like this anymore. Continue. We're gonna go to something else. We'll, we'll save it. Thinking maybe one of the ones with the bots. Or we can go like old school, like Knights of the Round. Let's see here. Let's fool the display settings. The filter. I guess this would like smooth it out a little bit. I don't know. I haven't really fooled with any of it, so. We'll we'll leave it alone. It's a very big sword. Of course, the man carrying a very big sword has very big hands. You got Lancelot, you got King Arthur, and you got this guy over here, <laughs> this weirdo. <laughs> We're going with, going with Arthur. Sorry, Percy. The village is on fire. Eh. I'm not a firefighter. Go call the fire department. So this is like three player co-op. I still think Ninja Turtles Arcade is like one of the best beat em up experiences because you get four people playing together. I remember playing both Turtles games in the arcade. I could do without the beeping. This is not a bad brawler. I don't think there's a dud in this whole collection. The only thing that I wish was like, you know, Aliens vs. Predators missing. And there's a couple other games that are missing. I mean, they're not all Capcom games anyway, the ones I would want to see in a collection like this. I just think they could have put a few more games, but you can't argue with 20 bucks or, or 10 bucks that I got it for, you know, you're getting seven decent titles. Arcade perfect. Or at least so far, everything sounds the way it should sound. Without me putting them side by side. I'm assuming this is the boss. I don't know if I ever played this game back in the day. I've heard of it. He's got to readjust his helmet. 
That was crazy what happened in the NFL. This guy getting indefinitely banned. It's just nuts, man. It's just the game. Stage one clear. 212, the area code from Manhattan. One of the area codes of Manhattan. Confused fight. What the? Who names these stages? What the hell does that mean? So the timer, you know, is there, but then it goes away. I like the way this one feels, the control. Looks like we're about to do a Broadway play or something. I don't know what's going on here. Is that where the confusion's coming from? Money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Let me pull with the filters here. Display settings. Let's see what that one does, type A1. Ooh, I think that's worse. All right, A2. Yowza. A3? <laughs> what the hell? Most of the time they would just say if you want the game like, you know, smooth, smooth it out, but not this display settings uh, I don't like these settings so far that's even worse good lord you know I think we're gonna stick with the default setting yes let's try that out it's not stretched as much we had the screen smaller which kind of sucks but If you're running it on a big TV, it don't matter anyway. You can still see what's going on. You have enough real estate to work with. Sword Man. Is he one of the bosses in Mega Man? That's not fair. This guy's on a horse. Am I am I hitting the horse? Oh, I can jump on. Heck yeah. You can only go one direction with the horse? How do you turn them all around? Oh, they scared the horse away. This is where they got the idea for Red Dead Redemption. I'm kidding. I knew you had to break that. What's going on? Help? Oh. Yeah, I should probably help him, right? Why is he gonna run away? Why don't you help me fight? I saved you. Level up. Okay, so you can level up your XP. Like, this is, they sort of like combine an RPG with a beat em up. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you could spend the gold on items. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, what's the point of collecting the gold then, right? If you can't spend it. They've got to have an item shop or something. Nowadays, it would be all DLC. Pay $9.99 to unlock the next level. Pay $4.99 to unlock this sword. Voiceovers are always cool for back in the day, because not every game had them. And I guess technically this is like a Throwback Thursday segment. Which I haven't been focusing too much on. I'm sorry and I apologize. How do you switch? Oh, you can switch. Okay, you can switch directions. I thought so. That not make no sense. We're fighting Bra Braffer? Not Bradford. Braffer? I don't know if that's really his name or if that's a typo. It's the medieval times.
I don't know why I'm thinking about the cable guy right now, that movie, but... Come on. Come on, dude. I got plenty of time. They don't need to throw the timer in my face. Oh, you got eight minutes left. Dead. Oh, I, I switched characters. Didn't mean to, but he's got a sword, though. Looking like a swashbuckler in here. Jake of the Neverland Pirates eat your heart out. Wait, I can't even mention Jacob and the Lion Pirates. The new YouTube rules. No, that doesn't make any sense. It's too vague. Everybody would get fined. Everybody will lose their channel. I'm not going to worry about that, though, because I can't worry about what I can't control. You know, hopefully, somebody fights ba back, especially if some kind of nonsense goes on. Because we're going to lose a lot of good content, a lot of good creators. Not saying myself. Other people die already, dude. Die. Welcome to the stream. This is Knights of the Round. Yeah, I might as well just use my special because he's almost dead. I might have ran out of time. Look at that. Two and a half minutes just to finish him off. Yeah, but this should be loads of fun with, with other people. Three players at the same time. Battle at the Castle Fortnite. Oh. I know all about that. I'm going to save and swap games. Because I want to give a taste of every game here. So, next. Oh, and they also have a gallery mode, which we'll get into that in a second. Alright. Warriors of Fate. It's also a how to play. Maybe I should re read that for some of these games that I'm not 100% familiar with. Yeah, see? Turn her horse around. Yup. Yep, yep. My lord. Oh, I know. I know. My load? What? <laughs> I didn't get a chance to read that all, but what the hell? Was that a typo? I, I take it he's meant to say my lord. This guy looks the coolest to me. With him coming close second, so I'm picking him. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these names. So you're on a horse the whole game? This is kind of cool. And they're not on horses though. They're at a disadvantage. I have never played this game. First time I've ever seen this. This is very unique. I, I take it you're on the horse the whole time. Because the controls, you know, stated the horse, how to turn the horse around, so I'm figuring... That's the entire gameplay. That's not taking health away, because I'll just keep doing that all game. <laughs> Oh, it is taking health away. Okay. I thought so. It doesn't take health away if you don't connect with anybody, but if you if you hit them and take their health away, it takes yours. They knock you can get knocked off the horse? Look at the horse looking depressed. Oh, another next level take a stream. Oh, lordy. There we go. Now he's happy again. This is, uh, this is unique. I don't know if I like it as much as some of the other games on here, but it's definitely, it's different. 
will strike them with fire drill. I can't read that fast. Who the hell can read that fast? And I'm a fast reader. What the hell, man? What the hell, I'm gonna have to watch my own stream and pause this to find out the story. Every angle here. The horse left? What kind of BS is this? And I could have gotten health. Now I can't. I also wanted to open up that chest. Soul Caliber? What did he just say? It's an interesting title. You get the horse back in the next level, I assume? No? So you just lose the horse for the rest of the game? Can you keep the horse? For the entire- I'm confused here. Alright, this is interesting. This is very interesting. You know, cause giant pieces of- giant boxes are just sitting in the woods. That makes sense. Look at this guy. What in the world? Oh, he's got a brother. Lots of sprites on screen. You know, nobody ever fights fear anymore. They all gotta have help. Alright, I'm gonna save this. And go on to the next one. Alright, next. Alright, what we got, what we got? Armored Warriors. Okay, the next, these two games I'm gonna save for last. Those two, I think, are both involving robots next. I'm gonna go King... I went Knights of the Round, I think it was, that I was playing, right? And not King of Dragons? Yeah, I played Knights of the Round. Okay, so this is King of Dragons. Although, I don't know how hard these games are going to be if you've got free play. If I can just continue every time I get hurt, that takes away some of the fun, you know? So I got a trophy, Master of All. I guess we're playing every game. This one reminds me of Golden Axe. And that's not a bad thing. It's a very good thing. There were some Golden Axe that never got ported that I wish would have. I don't know if I could have broke that. Maybe I can. Yep, there we go. Oh, I like this title a lot. I played this on the uh, PS3. I think it was bundled with another game. I can't remember. I might have it on my PS3. If I still had my PS3. The good thing is, though, I still got my digital library. So if I would ever get another PlayStation 3 system, or they've got one that's backwards compatible, that can pull up my downloads, like if the PSV can, PS5 can play PS3 titles, then I can just download it. I'm, I'm dreaming. I'm living in dream world here. Can they pick up the bunny? It's a troll. It's one of them Twitter trolls. Kill it! Kill it with fire! I'm doing horrible. <laughs> I'm just gonna save and go on to the robots. I'm pretty sure that was the boss of the first stage of that game. Alright, now... The content you came for. Giant armored robots. Armored warriors. Presented by Capcom. In the year 2281, the United Earth Government and the Principal... Good Lord Almighty, the reading for United Earth Government decided to expand an army to... Blah, 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 blah. However, the true purpose of this operation would bring... Uh, uh, the fact that it was like, share, and subscribe. Who can read that quickly? Rash? Straight out of Battletoads, Rash, Pimple. Ju I mean, they all got cool names. Justice, Gray, Siren, Rash. The hell? I'm picking you, dude, just because of the name. Look at her little robot. <laughs> her little tiny robot. Going with Justice. Looking like it came out of Metal Gear Solid. The Earth. And this other planet over here. Terminate them. 
Why, why are we always killing aliens? Maybe they're friendly. Headquarters, this is just... The best thing about these games is all the, the typos and the grammar errors. All your base belong to us. All your base are belong to us, or whatever the saying is. Turned into a meme, it was all video game. Tell me this isn't cool. I should have probably started off the, the the content with this, the gameplay with this one. Red Shell Unit, this is Burns. I'll have an enhancement module waiting for you in the next area. Let me see the controls real quick, how to play. Alright, normal attack, jump, sub weapon, mega crush attack, super mega crush attack, and long range attack and stop attack. This is very cool. They look like little ants. Stop, get away. Get away from them now, I don't get it. What do you side me, you humans? It's absurd for you humans to fight against me. I'll annihilate you instantly. <laughs> Sorry for the bad voice, sir. I'm doing it on purpose. This is very cool. Yes, Max, you started with the wrong game. Not that Final Fantasy fight is bad. Final Fight's a classic, but this is just cool and a lot of people haven't seen this game, haven't had a chance to play this game. So this game is for three players apparently. Wonder why not four? Because there's four of them. I love those arcade machines that have like the X-Men machine comes to mind. Some of the versions of the X-Men arcade machine had four controller ports, but some of them had six. So six people could crowd around a machine and the screen was huge. I mean, it took up a lot of real estate in an arcade. So that's why they had two options. They had one that had four and one that had six. But the six player one was awesome. If you had a chance to play that, which I have in real, in real life, with five other people, and you all pick your favorite X-Men, or you all get, you know, you everybody picks their favorite X-Man and you get stuck with Dazzler. Yeah. So be it. The only one I hate more than Dazzler is Jubilee. <laughs> I'm, yeah, Jubilee's not that bad. Just her, her powers aren't as cool as some of the other X-Men. Spider-Man's another good... Brawler that I would like to see come back. I was dropped and I will remember this. Anyone who stands in the way of our army will be crushed mercilessly. So we're going back to Earth. Unit Red Shield. This is Gallagher. Gallagher? What? According to our latest information, large number of enemy units that landed on Earth despite our army's resistance. Oh, we're going back to the Earth. Okay. Return to Earth and reinforce them immediately. We're just going to keep going back and forth between the two. Who's paying for all this mileage? Who's paying for the gas for this? What I want to know. Terminate them all. Get out of here. Well, no, I never imagined they would attack Earth. Headquarters, tell me the main enemy for you. Keanu Reeves, if you're listening, I need you to make a movie out of this game right here. I'm telling you, be perfect. Roger, I'll go and assist. So you gotta, you gotta fight the the, uh, the little guys too. This is crazy. Did I just lose an arm? Close. 
This is nice. Different power-ups. Look at me just strolling. Pimp walking. I'm a cool, cool robot. I don't want to switch out of this one. <laughs> I want to play this one to the, to the end. Warning. Oh, I'm dead. Like I said, hopefully they've patched the online portion so that when I play online, like, there's no lag or anything. Because really bad lag can ruin games like this. I'm thinking I might pick up the Street Fighter Collection next. They're coming out with Street Fighter V Championship Edition, if you haven't heard. Area one clear. What enemy reinforcements to take shelter here? We can't stay here. This really won't last long. We just got here. Red children, the other three's getting pounded up there. If you can't make it here in 80 seconds, their history. Roger. So wait a second, they had me switch people? Or did I accidentally pick a, a different person when I continued? I don't know. It is really good. Still cool. I'm, I'm, I'm hurrying. What do you think I'm doing? I'm about to die. I thought I was dead. I guess not. Now I am. I'm gonna run out of time. Which I said never happened in these games. And here I am running out of time. The chill unit, this is your mechanic burns. Thanks to you, unit three was able to pull back successfully. The enemy's main force is just ahead. Take this and wipe them out. What is this, Red Bull? Red Bull for robots? Or really? I gotta say, the underwater sections are my least favorite part of any video game ever. Like the Mega Man underwater sections, the Mario Brother water, underwater sections, except the frog suit's kinda cool in the third one, but... I just, I don't like water levels. This boss is kinda cool though. Forty's about to die because I'm using all my special moves. almost dead. Oh man, really? Oh my god. I totally missed him. He's almost dead. Come on. There we go. Did he, did he just pass gas? Mission completed, boss hit. This has got to be loads of fun with other people. I might, I might try the online portion here before it's all said and done. Just, just to see if anybody's playing for one, and for two to test the net code. It's pick up, it's drop in and drop out, so people can come in your game if you want. You can turn that on and off. 
Exterminate them, dude. The enemy's reinforcements are on their way. Red shield unit, switch to shooting mode and blow them away. Roger. Burns, did you test this new mode? Trust me, it'll work. Now shut up and get moving. <laughs> That's kind of rude. Shut the hell up. Listen, woman, shut up. Let me do my job. So rude. I'll tell you, so the whole level will do that. This is kind of cool, though. It switches things up. Keeps it fresh, lively. I ain't complaining. I'm gonna save right here, though. Because I will keep playing this all the way through if I don't. I like that title. I'll probably do it just a, a gameplay one day when I get a little better at that title. And just play it all the way through. From beginning to end. Alright, so there's one more title left that we haven't tried, and it's this one, Battle Circuit. And they got Japanese versions of the game, which I don't know what it changes up. It could be as simple as just changing the dialogue and the audio, but maybe the levels are changed slightly, I don't know. Because I haven't tried it, so I don't know. How do you play this one? Jump, Mega Crush attack. Everything's got a Mega Crush. Throw, charge shot. Anti-air, striking attack, jump, attack, and jump, temporary power boost. There's lots of people to pick from here. Pink ostrich, yep. Power up. Looking like she came out of Dark Stalkers. Oh, look, Dr. Wily. Shot down the enemy ship 60 seconds before explosion. Take that, Dr. Wily. Finally cornered you, Dr. Wily Saturn. Surrender now. You've left me no choice. Man, get the invaders. Mm. Battle download gauge recovery. When you're doing falls my way, I will deal with him. So, this is a weird way to start the game, though. Like, you're already starting off with a boss fight. Interesting. This whole title is very interesting the way it's done so far. No problem. No problem. Dr. Saturn. Rank A. Good stuff. This is blue. I found criminals. Prepare my reward, Harry. I'm on my way. I'm coming home. Okay, blue. You're always so good, blue. That was a piece of cake, Harry. Next time, make it a challenge. Here's your reward, Blue. Various power-ups available based on your earnings. But remember, or you get what you pay for. Check the coin gauge near the vitality bar for your earnings. There's many different ways to earn money. That grammar is horrible. <laughs> Use your brain a little. It's not that hard to figure out. Use your brain. That grammar is terrible. Translation is not good. All right. So what's the next assignment? Get ready, Blue. Next up is criminal number 5783. You know him as Johnny Cage, head of the Delete Gang. Sure, it's not... Uh, what's his face? From the... Um, wrestling? The Hardy? Delete. 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 Select your upgrades. Not enough money, not enough of a story of my life. I mean, we can't, we can't buy anything really. The Hyper Tornado, that's kind of cool though. You could buy different, that's very slick. If only every beat em up had that. What the hell is going on in the background? The Teletubbies are having a convention, apparently. I don't... What the... What? I'm at the wrong club. I, I don't even want to say what's going on with the girl in blue there. <laughs> but what the hell? Uh, co cover that up. I don't know. Anywho... He's just waiting for me to beat him up. Is this a boss? Because if it is, he's pretty sad. 
He's not even done anything yet. Do you? No, he's not the boss. Okay, about to say. What are these little goofy little green robots? These guys just stand there and take it. Go, go! Feels like you're on a on a game show, and maybe that's the whole premise of this. Like Smash TV was set up like that. The uh, Running Man, fantastic Terminator, uh, not Terminator, fantastic movie starring the Terminator Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll be back to the other here. Where are you going? I always wanted to make an entrance like that. Maybe one day I will. Hello, baby. Today's guests are bounty hunters. It's showtime. It's Elvis Presley. Oh, hunger burn low. Oh, oh, oh. It's Johnny Bravo. They don't make cartoons like they used to. I mean, not to say that there's not some good ones, but... This is a weird boss fight. This is not a bad deal though. Seven games for the price of one. For less than the price of most games. If you like Capcom's games, if you've played any of these games, I would pick this up just for the fact that you got six other titles that you may or may not have tried out. You got multiplayer. Local co-op. You got online, although I haven't tested the online. That's gonna be interesting. Hopefully, like I said, they've patched it. I always die before taking the hill. About to die again. Come on, Johnny. Stop stop moving around, Johnny. How did he kill me that quick? Well, you've been deleted. Did Matt Hardy play this game? What's going on? I'm trying to continue. Yeah, okay. Almost died. That's a cool little finish sequence right there. No problem. No problem. Oh, somebody dropped a credit card. What's this disc? Yo! Bring the disc to me. That disc is... That disc is mine! Dr. Saturn. I'll take the disc of mine. Select your upgrade soft. So I got 185. Burn, hyper Tornado. I got that already. Burning Kick. Why is that still in the thing if I bought it? I'm confused. Or maybe I didn't buy it. Bring that disc back, fools. Interesting title. Very colorful stage. Oh look, we got flying cars in the future. <laughs> I'm sure we do. Share and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Mixer under the same name, Next Level Taken. Use Next Level Taken in the Epic Game Store at checkout. And don't forget to use Next Level Taken in the Fortnite item shop. 
Every 14 days you have to update that because it'll kick me out. So if you make any purchases, I get a small, small, small fraction of the purchase price. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of that money and put it back towards upgrading the mics and upgrading the uh, just the stream in general. And maybe giving away some of it. I've done some stuff where I gave away a couple of uh, Fortnite emotes, but I didn't publicize it. I didn't stream it or anything. I just gave out a couple of emotes the other day. Look at his face. You can't pick this up? Alright, Saturn, get this back or else. Bounty hunter scum, you dared fight my Johnny? I'll get you. What? Saturn's escaping. I don't have time for this. What in the world? You changed up the gameplay again. Kudos to Capcom, though. Like, this, this is fun. And it spices up the gameplay. It's not like just... Straight up 60 minutes of the beat em up. Because I think that's why beat em ups went away for so long, is because, you know, they can be a little repetitive. I'm a big fan of beat em ups, so though, fighting games in general. We gotta jump. Oh, this reminds me of that Battletoads. That one Battletoads level, which is annoying as hell. I'm about to die. Cool little level. Was I supposed to jump that? The bonus area. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is the end, scumbags. Give it up. She's tall. They're tall drink the water. It's the heels. Alright, I'm gonna try the, uh, I'm gonna save here. I think I'm gonna get my butt kicked by her anyway. I just got this feeling, I got the sense. Alright, we're gonna try the net code. Alright, I think they'll, I don't know if there's voice chat here, but there's also a gallery. So, like, you can see all the artwork and stuff. You can zoom in. Just game specific. Oh my. <laughs> we we'll have to edit that out. I got the whole world in my hands. Yeah, so it's cool stuff. Cool extras. Um, what else is here? The online mode. Alright, okay, so the stream's gonna go blank for a second setting up the network connection all right so you can create a game you can join a game you can create a lobby um i guess let's try to let's try to join a lobby see if anybody's playing any game or let's see if anybody's playing final fight same region Of searching. Could not find a game session to join. Let's see if we can just find a game that's in progress. Oh, that kind of sucks. You know what? We'll just do any game and see if anybody's playing. Really? Are you serious? I don't want to do all regions because what's going to happen is. I'm gonna join but depending on where he is it looks like he might be in Europe he might have some lag I just wanted to get an impression of how the game in the United States Alright, 
let's see how the net code works here. I'm assuming you can find other horses later on. But I don't know that for sure. So far, so good though. It's running smooth. Yeah, there's no, there's no real lag. I mean, it might be running slightly slower than normal, but I can't really feel it. I wonder if you can fall off the bridge. <laughs> I tried. You can't. That's good. Golden Axe, you can. I know this from experience. Hey, dude, if you can hear me, jump if you can hear me. Jump again if you can hear me. Maybe not. Oh, we got another person joining. This guy, he's got it set up where anybody can just drop in and drop out. So now, let's see what kind of lag we get with three players. Ooh. Borderline unplayable right now. Look at this. This was what I was fearful of. But it could be his connection too. Alright, let's, let's see. This is running a little choppier and a little slower. Okay, the guy didn't even connect, or did he? If he's here, he, ain't, he didn't push start. I'm just gonna keep... <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing that. It's working, right? Alright, so now somebody else is joining us, player three. I, that's where it could get a little annoying, I think. When you got people that are constantly joining in and joining out. And that, that pause right there. So I would want to meet up with people. And maybe find a community and then... Or, you know, my YouTube. Add me. Next level take it if you want to play this together. Because I wouldn't want people constantly dropping in and out of the game. But there's just two of us here now, and look how the, the connection has dropped since these people try to join. It's a lot laggier. You got somebody else trying to join? We just froze, literally, like for a second there. What the heck, man? The host has left the session. <laughs> what? That's another reason why I didn't, didn't want to do the online. That's why I didn't try the online first. In case you're wondering. That's why. So you got some options here for language and uh, basic stuff. I should have maybe turned the music down just a smidge. Configure the network settings. Frame delay. Okay, so the larger the value, the smoother the online play will feel. However, the delay you experience will feel slightly longer as a result. Hmm. Well, at least they give you the option to toggle to fool with that. And then the credits for the great people that made this game. But the online portion was the only reason when the reviews first came in and everybody's complaining about the net code, that was what turned me off from buying this immediately. So I'm gonna turn this off because I don't want to get hit with copyrights for some damn music. You hear me, Capcom? I'm promoting your stuff, okay? I like the game. And it's a good game. The net code remains to be seen because, you know, I got to find somebody that's in the U.S. and play a full game with them and see what kind of lag we have. So it looks like there are some issues. I don't know how bad. We'll see. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And thanks for watching. And I appreciate all the support. We're almost at 1,200 subs right now, which is insane. 
if you would have asked me, you know, six months ago if I thought that was possible, I'd be like, nah, you're crazy. I, although, I don't know, I think anything's possible if you put your mind to it. So, ultimate goals, like, a billion subs, and I'm not joking. You know, obviously no one has have a billion subs, not even PewDiePie, but that's the ultimate goal. Thanks for watching. It's been Next Level Taken. Hit me up in the comments section. Let me know what you think about the game, gameplay. What I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. Until next time.